Ross developers and welcome to the Ross questions and answers video series. If you want to learn anything about Ross, this is your channel. Ross navigation, Ross returns, Ross for autonomous cars, everything Ross is here. Learn Ross step by step and push your Ross learning in just 10 minutes of video. I am Alberto and today we are going to be checking a question I found in the Ross answers forum, which is this one about how to use callbacks with, Pyth with Python. But before anything else, remember to visit our Robot Ignite Academy, our online academy where you will find practical online ROS courses using simulated robots. No installation required. You will find a link to the academy in the video description. Okay, so now let's start with the video. So let me close this and the YouTube channel. So basically, uh, this user, Lan Lan, is asking how to use callback with Python. And he says, can anyone explain how to use callback in writing a subscriber, a raw subscriber? The tutorial uses callback data, but what is data? What content does it have? Thank you very much. Okay, so we are going to try to build an example in order to show how to use callbacks in raw subscribers and what this data of the callback means. So yeah, for that we are going to use RDS as always. So let's open RDS and we are going to create a new project which I'm going to call, let's say, callback QA. So let's create our project. Great. And now let's open it. There we are, let's wait a few seconds until the world environment is loaded. Here we have it, great. So now uh, we are going to basically open one shell and the IDE so that we can visualize all the files and folders. So first of all, let's create a new package where we will place our code. So let's go to the Catkin workspace and here I'm going to create a new package, which I'm going to call, I oh don't know, callback, QA, and I'm going to add Rospy as a dependency. Excellent. So now in our ID, here we have our package. So let's create our code. Let's add a new file, and I'm going to call it subscriber code dot pi for instance great so now let's quickly create a raw subscriber a very simple example so that we can show how to work with callbacks so i'm going to go really quick here first of all let's import rospy now rospy init node let's initiate our node which we are going to call topic subscriber. Now our subscriber. Here will be the message and here, okay. So basically here we will have to state the topic we are going to use and here the type of message. So we are going to leave this for later when we decide which, uh, which ones to use. And yeah, here we have to define as well our callback, which we can call here uh, the user uses, says uh, in the tutorials they are using data, you can use whatever you want here. I'm using message, but I, I could use also data, okay? In this case, I'm going to use message because I prefer message. And, and yeah, that's basically it. So let me add here a spin, a Rospy spin. So now what we are going to do is to start a simulation. Uh, let's say, for instance, the drone. Let's start the drone simulation. And now we will have to to decide which uh, topic we want to subscribe to. So once the simulation is fully loaded, which I think 
it, it, it's almost there. Yeah, here we have it. Okay, so let's do our ROS topic list to have a look at all the topics we have available. So for instance, I don't know, we have here uh, the drone get pose. This, uh, let's do an echo here. Drone get pose. Basically this topic, what does is to give us the position and, and orientation of the drone within the world. Yes? So as you can see, it's, it has two fields, this message. One is position with X, Y, Z, and the other one is orientation with X, Y, Z, W. And if we have a look at this topic, if we have, uh, if we get some information, drone uh, get pose, there we are. We can use that the message it's using is this geometry messages pose, yes? So, let's put this into our code. First of all, we need to import these geometry messages, as you can see here, from the geometry message messages package. We are going to import the pose message. Then also, here in our subscriber line, we will need to add our topic. There we are. Let's make this a bit bigger. And uh, obviously this is using the post message, which we have imported here. Yes? Then, whenever a new message is published into this drone get post topic, whenever a message is published there, this callback function will be called, which is this one we have here. Yes? And inside here, for now, let's put a print message. Yes, so we are going to print this mysterious variable, which is called message. Uh, excellent, so let's save our code. And let's, let's make sure that our file is executable. Okay, let's give it execution permissions. There we are. So now, let's just execute our code. Let's test it. Go back QA and subscriber code. So let's execute our code. Okay, so here it is having an error. Ah, yeah, I have uh, here import geometry messages, import post. So this is wrong. Here it is from, from the geometry messages package and the message directory, import pose, yeah? So let's execute again our code. There we are. So as you can see, basically, I'm getting the position and orientation of the drone, yes? Which is exactly the same as doing directly a, a Rostopic echo to the topic, yeah? So we are getting exactly the same. So basically, into this message, what I am getting is the full message of this topic. Yes, I'm getting all the message, the position and the orientation. Remember, the message here we are using is the pose message. Geometry messages, pose, yes? And we can here do a ROS message show to, to get some information about this um, pose message, the structure about this message. And as you can see, the structure of this message is, uh, it's this one. It's very simple. So basically we have the position here with X, Y, Z and the orientation with X, Y, Z, W. Yes, which is basically what we are getting here. So now, instead of uh, getting here and printing the whole message like we are doing now, we can, for instance, say, hey, I just want to print the position but it's not the orientation. So here, what we would do is to add, uh, after the message, message dot position. Yes? So we access the wall message, and inside the wall message, we access the position. Only the position, not the orientation. So now, if I execute my code, I will only get the position. 
Yeah? Here we have it. So now we are just getting the X, Y, Z, which is the position of the drone. And the same goes for the orientation, of course. We could put here orientation, and now we are going to get the orientation, which is the X, Y, Z, W, as you can see here, yeah? There we have it, X, Y, Z, W. So now we are printing the orientation. But furthermore, we could say, hey, I just want to see the W. Then what would you do? Exactly, you would add here a message.orientation.w. Yes, because in the structure of my message, of the post message, after accessing the orientation field, we can access either the X, the Y, the Z, and the W. Yeah? So in this case, let's access the orientation first, and then the W. So message.orientation.w. Then let's execute again our code, and now we are going to only see the W, which is this one. Yes? So as you can see, it's pretty simple. Let's do very quickly, let's have a look at other topic. Let's uh, change our code for another topic. So for instance, let's have a look at the sonar of the drone. So what we would do here, first of all, we will change here the topic, of course, instead of get post, we will put sonar. And now we will need to figure out what message this topic is using. So for that, let's do a ROS topic info drone sonar. And as you can see, this topic is using the sensor messages range message. Yes. So let's here add just another line to import this message. So in this case, it would be, it would be from sensor messages dot message import range yes so now we have this message available in our code and of course we will need to also change it here change the pose for the range there we are and okay let's try now our code and see what happens Okay, we are getting an error. Yeah, this is expected. I was expecting this error uh, to appear. So basically, as you can see, the error says, hey, the range object, the range message, doesn't have an attribute called orientation. Yes? So here we are trying to access from the range message a field which is called orientation. And we don't know if this exists for the range message. We knew it existed for the post message, but the range message is different. So let's have a look at this, at, at this range message, like this, with a ROS message show. And as you can see, this is the structure of the range message. Basically it has this header, a radiation type, field of view, minimum range, maximum range, and range. Yes, so as you can see here, we don't have any field, call it orientation, so that's what why the error pops up. Yes, so let's have a look at the at the topic. How a message looks. So this is the ROS topic echo of the sonar topic. And as you can see, as we saw, we have a header, we have a radiation type, a field of view, a mean range, maximum range, and range. Yes, so for instance, let's come again to the structure. Here we could access, uh, let's say, the header. We just want to see the header. So we will come here and we will do message dot header. Now, if we execute our code, here we have it, we will get only the header of the message, as you can see. Yes, or we could only visualize, for instance, the range, which it, it was
it was another field, here we have it, the range. So, yeah, let's execute this code again. And now we are only getting the range. As you can see, this 4.17, it is the Here we have it. It is the range field of the message. Yes? Excellent. So, yeah, basically that's it. As you can see, uh, it's very simple how to work with these callbacks in the subscribers, in the raw subscribers. So, basically, this message field here, which we, you can call it whatever you want. Let me show you. You can call it data if you want or whatever you want. If we rename this to data, it would be exactly the same. Yeah? So basically, this variable that comes here with the callback, it's the whole message that you are receiving here in this topic. And then with this whole message, you can do whatever you want. You can access the different fields of the message, you can process it, you can do whatever you want with this message. Yes? So, yeah, that's basically it. I hope you you enjoyed the video. In the description of the video, we'll put a complete course about ROS basics, where all of this is explained. And you will find this course in our Robotic Knight Academy, in our online academy. And please, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. And remember to subscribe to our channel and press the bell for a new video every day. And either you like it or not, please share your thoughts and questions in the comments area. Goodbye and see you in the next video.